Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to be comparing the difference between Easy Lip and All Fit's new automotive lips. Now I made a video not too long ago regarding Easy Lip's new lips, the Colors Lip, the Pro, and the traditional one that they have. Since then, I was able to put it on my car, install it, and see how durable it actually is. After having both of these lips installed on my car for a decent amount of time, I can now give you guys a better review on both of the products. Before when I made the first comparison video, I was only able to hold these in my hand, squeeze them, rip them, and only do that. I never actually installed them on my car, up until now, I guess. Now I've had both of these lips installed on my car, and I can now give you a good idea as to which one is the better product. So on my car right now, I've got the Easy Lip lip still on it from the last video that I put up. Today I'm going to be taking it off and I'm going to be installing All Fit Automotive's new lip on my car. So All Fit Automotive, they've got three different style sizes for lips. They've got the, the traditional, like the mid size, and then their fat lip. On my car right now, I've installed the mid and the fat, and I can show you right now the differences between the two. There's not that much of a difference in size really, but honestly, if it was me, I would choose the mid lip only because I like a smaller style lip. That's just my preference, but you guys can definitely choose whichever of the three you guys like. So on the right side, you guys can tell that that's the mid-size lip. And moving down to the left side, that's the fat lip. You can see that the fat one extends a little bit more than the right one. And if you're going for that very long, lowered look, that one seems like that'll be the one for you. Now because my car is already low enough as it is, I'm only going to be installing the regular, the traditional one, on my car. So today, we're going to be unboxing this little all-fit lip kit, and we're going to be throwing this on my car. So if you look over here, these are the different products that Easy Lip has to offer. They've got the Easy Lip Pro, the colors, and then their traditional one. Now they come in the three different kits, one, two, and if I had the other one, I'd put it right here. Now the, the fat one, the Easy Lip Pro, is their biggest one that they have, and it's similar to the mid-lip kit that, e that All Fit Automotive offers. It's similar, it's not quite the same thing, but uh, I mean, it's the same, same products. I mean, this product, you can rip and tear just like the old Easy Lip ones. Same thing with this. When you tear and you push it on it too hard, it'll rip. But again, as it goes for the All Fit Automotive one, you can really tear and go at it and nothing will, it won't really affect it. Like see, same, same shape. If we move down over here to the All Fit Automotive products, we've got the traditional lip, we have the mid lip, and then we have the fat lip. Now in each one of these kits, um, they come with different products, you know, as you can tell. This one here, this is the one size for uh, the All Fit Lip Kit. This is the traditional one. If you're just gonna get a front bumper or a side skirt or something like that, just one, this is what you're gonna get. It's gonna have all the hardware inside that you'll need. If you're gonna get the whole thing, you're gonna get a bigger roll similar to this right here. And it's this size, just like, you know, the old lip kits that you can get. Same stuff, 3M tape, you know the whole deal. If we move down here, we've got the Mid Lip Kit. Again, the same durable product, same thing as this. However, this is a little bit bigger in side profile. It's like I can see if I can put it right here for you. See the difference? Now if we put the fat lip next to that too, we've got all three of these in size. Now this is the biggest one of course. We're going to compare these two. They look like that. When you get each one of these kits, you'll notice that you'll get these nylon washers and screws. Now if you get one of these big kits, you're gonna get a whole bunch of them. If you're gonna get a small one, you're only gonna get a couple. But keep in mind that these are only optional. You don't have to install these on the car to make it look good. Now I didn't use any of these on my car, and it stays on the bumper, and it looks very nice. Also you get a business card. They're clear, they're actually really cool. Look like this. You get some of the nylon screws and washers. You get instructions for the decals. If you want, you can go on Instagram, you can tag your post and all fit on a motive and they'll show you on there. And this is just basically a thank you letter for buying their products. Good stuff and you can get discounts too if you buy their stuff again. If we move down a little bit more, we've got this. Now this is the extra, this is the excess that I had from when I just put the lip on my car. Now out of those nine feet, I've got a good foot and a half right here of extra stuff. So basically every single car will work with this kit. Hence why it's called Universal. Now as I mentioned earlier, the 3M tape on both of these, so the Easy Lip and the All Fit are identical. 
Like if you take this off, it's gonna be the exact same stickiness and the exact same product as the All Fit. You can tell this is much more durable, this is flimsier, but I mean the same tape is on both of these. So if you can apply one of them and you can't apply the other, you're doing something wrong. So in each one of these kits, you'll have basically everything you need to get this done. So this is the regular normal lip that they have in a kit. So it's the roll, extra hardware if you need it, a lanyard, business card, instructions, and from the looks of it, I think there's a sticker in there too. Now on the back side of the packaging, it'll give you all the instructions that you need to get this done. Now if these aren't enough for you, you can also check out my first video and I'll put up the link right here. All it is is the installation procedure for the entire thing. So from beginning to end, how to prep it, how to install it and everything. So in each one of the kits, it comes with nine feet of the roll and this is enough to get basically anything done. So one front bumper, one rear bumper, or one side of the side skirt. Now of course they'll send you more than you need, so when you get to the end of it, you're gonna have to cut off a little bit and trim so you fit your bumper or side skirt appropriately. Now before we actually get started, I just wanted to clarify something. If you get one of these kits, you get the 3M tape that's attached to it, along with these screws. Now, I'm gonna go back to that in a second. If you go with a regular Easy Lip, so one of these, all that you get is the 3M tape. That's the only way you can get these things down. So that means that if an Easy Lip does not want to stick to your car, and even if this 3M tape, which is the exact same tape on here, doesn't want to stick to your car, if you go with an all fit lip, you can 100% make sure that it's attached by using the nylon washers and the screws that come with the kit. So if you buy an Easy Lip, it comes in and you want to install it on your car, and for some reason it doesn't want to stick, that means the same, the same thing is gonna happen for the all fit. This will not stick. However, you'll still be able to install it with these nylon washers and screws. So that means that you'll be screwed if you get one of these kits, you'll be safe if you get one of these. Your choice. So installing this new lip is basically the exact same thing as it was the first time we installed it. So in my other video, I've got a better outline as to how to install it. And if you want, you can guys can check out the description box. I'll throw a link in there for it. So you have to clean your bumper and make sure that it's very clean. I use isopropyl alcohol to clean it up. After it's clean, you're going to want to take off the red little piece of plastic that's on the lip, holding the, uh, holding the tape down and making sure that it doesn't get sticky. Peel it off so the sticky side is revealed, and then start applying the bumper and pushing it up on the bumper to make sure that it's grabbing and adhering properly. Continue on and keep doing this for the rest of the car. Wrap around to the other side until you get to the other end. Once you get to the other side, grab a sharp pair of scissors and cut off the excess. So guys, this is what the traditional all-fit lip looks like without the nylon screws or anything else. You can tell on its own it's strong enough, it's holding up, and it's durable just like all the other lips that they offer. Now if you guys want to make this a much more permanent install and you want to make sure this lip doesn't go anywhere, you can as always install these nylon washers and screws into the lip and through the bumper. Now this isn't mandatory, it will still hold up on its own like this, but for the extra measure, you can take that extra step. On this side here, you can tell that I installed one of the stickers that they included in the kits. This is the white one, and on the other side, I installed the black one. You get a total of five stickers when you get these kits. You get two blacks, two whites, and then you get a bigger one that you can put basically wherever you want. You put it on the back windshield, side windshield, or laptop, or anywhere you really want. You guys can choose if you want to put these on your lip too. Now, I'm not sure which one I like more, so I put both of them on. And uh, yeah, simple as that. I'll be putting the links for each one of these lips inside the description box below, so if you guys want to check them out, you guys want to put one of these in your car, you guys can go down there, check out the website, and buy one if you really want to. If you guys have any questions regarding the lip, please post them in the comments below and I'd be happy to help. And again guys, thanks for watching.